Talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, either I respect that. If she be down the ride, oh, I bet that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is JH. How y'all doing, Postal Family? Everybody good? Everybody cool? Everybody clean? Everybody crisp? Is everybody iry? Let's talk. So much going on in a short period of time, and I figured that uh, we're going to try and get to a couple of topics. I'm going to have a couple of videos, and we're going to touch on a couple of things. But today... I was approached and spoken to about uh, I, I, just follow me because my thoughts are kind of congested. So just follow me through this and maybe you'll understand where I'm going with it. Um, so person said, you know, that uh, clerks tend to, you know, they they they're the backbone of the post office. And I kind of said that that don't make sense because my my understanding is that the carriers make it work well well kind of broke it down to me said listen when you have the clerks it's imperative to have a team now this is what supervisor he said you have to have a team that's going to be good and i said well, what exactly does that mean he said well i have a worker here that's not really good, tends to have a bad, uh, you know, attitude. And that's the bad apple. One bad apple can ruin the bunch. Now, I have my opinions about clerks. Love them. But, you know, some of them do have some bad attitudes. And so he broke it down even further for me. He said, so clerks make this work. If you have a well-oiled machine, a team of clerks that come in early in the morning, right? And they're there to receive the mail. He said, if every one of them is grinding and doing their thing and they're getting and they're scanning and they're doing everything on time, you know what happens then? He says that the carriers are able to get out on time. I said, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. He says, those same clerks are the ones that are at the window. He said, you ever look at the ratings when you look on Google about a specific post office? He said, usually when you see a bad rating, they speak about a bad clerk, their interactions with the window clerk. He said, imagine if you got a decent team and you have clerks that are decent at the window, your ratings wouldn't be bad and people would be more willing to come and go to that specific post office because of the way that they're treated. Now, one bad apple, if Mr. 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 Henny goes and he goes to this same post office every day, but he specifically avoids one person because that one person gives him a bad, you know, customer service experience, that can ruin it because other people are dealing with that same clerk. Now, once it gets out and I do my Google reviews and I take a look and say, oh, man, well, yeah, this post office only got a 2.1 rating because of their customer service. They can go anywhere else and get better customer service. Again, this is with the clerks. So your carriers are out early, which means what? They get back early, right? They don't have to go into overtime. They're not waiting for mail, right? I mean... They get their mail early. They're able to scan and do their thing and get out early. They're able to get back early. It cuts back on the unnecessary overtime. Carriers don't like to be out there on the street all day. Creates a better mood because they're able to do their job, get back, go home, do their family thing. The clerks, if they have a decent day and they collected all their mail and their lines are not out the door because every one of the clerks are working like a well-oiled machine, of course, you're going to have some scenarios where, you know, you're going to get overwhelmed. But if you got a well-oiled machine and they're all working at a steady pace, doesn't have to be fast, but a steady pace and nobody has to pick up the slack from someone else, the line is no longer out the door. They don't have to wait if they close at five o'clock. They don't have to wait till 530 to close because the line was out the door. Now all the mail is collected, is all sorted, and is ready for the truck driver to go. All the carriers are back. They are, it's all sorted, is ready for the truck driver to go. Truck driver doesn't have to wait later because that well-oiled machine is based off of the clerks. 
the clerks. Now my truck gets back to the plant early. All the mail handlers that are sitting around doing nothing. Now they have something to do because I'm back on time. And that gives them the work that they need to do to go move it. The other trucks that are, you know, it, it's just the network. People don't understand behind the scenes when it comes down to the post office and the inner workings. We all think about ourselves and think about, oh, this is just my job. But you never think about how your job affects everyone in this network. And to make everything work, each of us has to do our job. So one bad apple can spoil the whole bunch. And that's basically what he said. And when it comes down to efficiency, it helps the morale of the actual operation. Now, here's where I'm going to be that guy. Because we have workers that really don't belong there. This is just truth. I was talking to Miss K and... Um, Here's the fact. We have so much turnover. They say, oh, you got turnovers is crazy, man, because they don't like that place. And the turnover is crazy because this, that, this and the other. And I'm going to take some blame for this. I'll explain it to you in a second. If everybody had to go through the original process of applying for the post office that people had to do 10 to 15 years ago, it would weed out the bad apples. It would weed out the bad players. Because, yes, I used to help with people with the assessments. They didn't have assessments before. They had tests. Civil service. Civil servant tests. Where you actually had to schedule and wait for a phone call to go into a facility to go do some. And man, there's hundreds of people there. And it actually took some skill and you wanted the job. And it didn't just, I know people say, ask me, how long does it take? And I say, you know, it takes anywhere between, you know, three, four weeks to a few months. Some people have waited. And this is from the lady that does these T-shirts. Four years, four years before she got in. Four years. Miss K took forever. She said she went and worked for Lord and Taylor's before she got in. It's crazy. Think about that. Think about that. People had to wait. And that means when they got in, they wanted this job. So look at some of the people that were there before you. Yeah, the attitude suck, obviously. But look at the people that are there now. Our attitude suck. That's where the turnover comes in. Turnover comes in for the people that were gifted this government job. And they don't understand the grind that it took to get to this government job and the benefits that come with this government job is no longer what it used to be. This, you know, high standard. And who's to blame for the high standard? Typically, it's us. It's us. So this was just a little bit of feedback on where the actual backbone of this whole organization is. The face of the organization is... When people walk into those post offices and they see the clerks, the clerks can continue. Hey, man, you give somebody an excellent experience, they'll come back. It's just how it is. Somebody uh, referred it to uh, Chick-fil-A. Anybody ever been to a Chick-fil-A? People love them because of their customer service. Think about that for a second. Their customer service is off the rockers. So if we had customer service like that, which is virtually impossible, people wouldn't be giving us those, you know, one star ratings. Nonetheless, all I'm asking is that, you know, for you guys to think about the teams that you have to encounter when you guys are working at your stations. Carriers, you know, the clerks, you run into them, you see them. Some of them got some bad attitudes. I go to some stations and you got bully clerks, clerks that, you know, they're just real, just nasty and arrogant. And when new people come in, they just give them the nasty attitudes and like, yo, you only been here a year. Why are you giving other people nasty attitudes? Those are the bad apples. And those are the new ones, the new ones that are the bad apples. And I'm like, man, you're going to be here for another 20 years. Wow. And management can't do nothing about you. Wow. But that's for another day. That's for another topic. We'll chat. I got plenty more to talk about. 
Y'all like my cup? See, I didn't edit this because this would get edited out. You like that? That's nice, ain't it? Woo Beautiful. Y'all already know where these things come from. Mm. Yeah, that's my coffee. That's my coffee. That's JH. Y'all read that shirt. Zoom in. Read it. Read it. Yeah. I ain't got one of those. Y'all have yourself a blessed rest of your day. We on to the next topic. Woohoo! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Y'all already know who this is. This is my ace, Boon Coon, from up top. What you say your name was? It doesn't, doesn't matter, matter what your name is. All right. She the one that be hooking y'all t-shirts up. She do the head scarf. She do the t-shirts for the big man. The little guy, actually. And this is, what, this is the stuff that she's just... These are going to get sent to some people. I just told her to bring them by so you can see them. What does it say? What life? Work for the post office. Go ahead. Let's see what else you got there. You don't got to be crazy to work at the post office, but we'll train you. You see me? Straight out the post office in case you got the, you know, thug mentality. There it is. Postal workers do it in any weather. I like that. But you know what? Y'all, if you're on the clock, don't do it because you're supposed to be doing some work. And if you're not, you know what? That's not my business. She hook up anything you want. She'll print you some headscarves. She'll put you some shirts. she print you some underwear, some panties. Fellas, you put a little eagle on the front of your thing. Some of you guys might just need a hummingbird or something because it ain't. You know what? That's not my business. We even got some custom made shirts. Put one of them custom made out. This is for my ace boom coon. Who that is? That's Miss K Gone Postal. Now, that's the most aggravating person that I know. But look, that thing reflecting. Can you see it? Can you see? Oh, that thing looking. Yeah, it's a little bright to be wearing at work. But yeah, and she got a couple other colors. She got the blue with the pink. And she got, hook you up. All of this. All of this. Check out her stuff. Custom make whatever you want. You text the information. That's who you're reaching. Some of you guys be asking the questions that. Ain't got nothing to do with what she does, but she does everything. Holidays, seasons, birthdays. She's a craftsperson and she's not allowed to talk. So there it is. <laughs> this is JH. Go check out Miss T with T's shirts and stuff, right? Yes. Little things by T. Didn't I say you can't talk? Yeah, little things, <laughs> Tina, and all that stuff. All right. We out. <laughs>